Do you know how to apply if dex function in Power Pivot? Let me demonstrate. So here you can see we have one sales data and I want to apply if function to get the target status like target not achieved or target achieved I want to get here. So how we can get that? We can simply select this data set. We can go to Power Pivot and here we can click on add to data model. We will get this dialog box, click on OK and your data will be shifted to Power Pivot for Excel editor and now we can click on pivot table and we will get again this dialog box we can click on ok to get the pivot table in new worksheet so we have a new worksheet with the pivot table in the right side we have option we can go to power pivot again and we can create a new measure new new measure we can click and we can choose the table so we are getting this dialog box we can choose here table 3 and give the name as target status And now we can use the formula if open bracket. So what is the logical test? We can type here sum of our table three sales amount. If it is greater than equal to sum of table three target amount, close the bracket. So this is the sum function. And here also we need to close the bracket. Sum function we are using for both. And now what result we want is if value is true what I want. Let's say I want here target achieved else comma you can use in double quote we can type target not achieved. Close the bracket check the formula. We don't have any error in the formula. We can simply choose general here and we can click on OK. And now we are getting target not achieved. Just we need to add more rows or more columns into the row section. How we can add? Simply we can check order ID, sales representative, reason if you need, then sales amount, target amount, and we can change this into a tabular form. And we can remove subtotals. And here we go. We are getting the target status in the pivot table and it is absolutely correct. So this is how we can use if formula or if text function in power pivot. If you like this video, don't forget to share this video. If you have any query in Excel, you can do comment in comment section. Thank you so much for watching.